First ride on the new bike, let's go. First time on the trail. We have a problem. Disaster strikes. The Evo OMW Old Man Winter out for its first ride. I'm gonna take this thing on the beach, see how that goes. And we'll see how it does on single track and some, some rock features. Let's see how this does. On the sand, the whole purpose of this bike is to provide flotation on surfaces just like this. So instead of taking the trails into the park, we'll take the beach. All right, much better down this pack down sand. I've never done a beach ride. This is kind of cool. Headset feels loose. I'm gonna have to fix that. Had to stop for quite a long time. The headset felt really funny. And I don't want to take a risk with that, so did all sorts of loosening and turning, resetting bearings right on the trail. Ooh, that was my first foray into some rocky trails. A little rougher than I thought. One thing about steering on this bike, the tires kind of have a mind of their own. They're grippy, but they, you get out onto that shoulder of them and they want to they wanna take the whole bike with it. So let's see how we do. It's a little off camber here. I don't know where the bike's going to want to take me. Made it. Whew. How you doing? Good. Good. This is one of the more fun trails here. It's downhill and there's lots of rocks and roots and stuff. I do not. It took that kind of hard. This bike will take some getting used to, that's for sure. It tricks you because the ride is so smooth because of the big fat tires. And then you come off a drop or a steep incline and you really smack. You really remember you're on a rigid bike. A little baby drop on the fat tire. Let's do a little more single track. And we'll try to catch sunset on the beach. Sounded like I popped a chain. We have a problem. It looks like my cassette is loose. When I try to pedal, the cassette spins. I've not had that happen before. So it could be a long walk home. Yeah, I need something to... It should not be spinning. Disaster strikes. 
I heard something pop on the bike and my cassette started spinning and I figured it just disengaged from the hub. I don't know if a part flew off my bike. I've been kind of searching the trails for it. So I can't pedal, but I can glide home. Well, I can kind of pedal. But the cassette is just free spinning. I was able to get the tire back in. So this could be an interesting way back with precarious pedaling and gliding. Yeah, I can't put pressure on it. I'm just gonna have to walk it to the hill. It's weird, I am getting tension. All right, there it goes. There goes my tension. But we're gonna limp home. At least it'll be pretty. Bike is busted. Wanted to have a good video on initial impressions on the new bike. And I had all sorts of issues with this bike. First, the headset was a little screwy. It, it seemed like I, I could never get it tight enough. There was always some play in the headset, which is pretty dangerous. Later, I was going uphill and was probably in the wrong gear and there was too much tension on the drivetrain and something popped. And I noticed that the cassette was spinning. So the chain was just spinning the cassette. And then, when I was just messing with the axle, there's no way to get the axle completely tight even when you press down the quick release lever. Other than all of that, <laughs> the bike rides well. Uh, it, it feels good. It, it handles this sand pretty good on the way in. On the pavement, it is heavy. You can feel it sort of slogs, but tires make a satisfying TIE Fighter sound or that, all that rubber on the pavement which is kind of cool. On the single track, very interesting. It feels like you have suspension. It's a nice cushy ride, but once you hit obstacles, it is very apparent that it is a rigid bike. You, you soften the blow, but you still bounce. It's like the bike doesn't absorb the energy the way a suspension bike would. I thought the tires would do more. It's possible that I have the tires overinflated. I, I put a lot of air in them knowing I'd be on the road to get to the park. So next time out, if I get this bike fixed, we'll take some air out of the tires. Whew, if you made it this far with me, thanks. Like and subscribe. Hope you at least enjoy this view. Beautiful sunset view here at Rocky Neck State Park. I gotta figure out how to get this thing fixed. I can still use this thing as a balance bike. So I can glide home. So this walk glide strategy is getting me getting me home. More gliding. Somehow we made it. This appears to be part of the hub in there. See these teeth? And uh, this is where it should mount. I texted a friend who said some, which I did not know this, some systems. Uh, are held in with the pressure of the axle. And he said, if, if as long as these parts weren't damaged, which I don't think they are, that I can seat the cassette, apply some pressure, and do a reverse turn, and that should seat it. It sounded like it clicked. So let's try to mount this tire and see if that solved my problem. This axle, nice and tight. Nope, didn't fix it. So here's the problem. This system does require the axle force to hold all the components together in the back of the bike. And this axle uh, is malfunctioning. This clamp here is supposed to come down, forced down by the quick release lever to provide that tension. Problem is, the way you connect the quick release lever to the rest of the axle is this little barrel, cylindrical little nut here. And it is either completely stripped out or misthreaded and this handle will not attach or stay attached here 
so you get no leverage. But I have some good news. Talked to the company that sold me the bike today. They're gonna send me a new wheel set to include the cassette and the axle. Uh, they've fixed these up since their initial release and it should be good to go. So I'm excited to get that in the mail and we'll get back out there once I get this bike fixed.